stupid little dude on the video saying stuff. So. This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine, and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. And these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. This is the scientific journal of Dr. Richard Davis, dated August 8th. This is the audio log of go. Dr. Pierce Rogers. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it off the base alive. I don't have much time, so I'll sum up what I have quickly and upload the rest of my findings into the data bank. I hope someone finds me. It was all on the stone tablets, all the answers. I can't believe we never saw it. It was as plain as day. If we had only slowed down the development of the teleporters and tried to really learn what the tablets were trying to tell us, trying to warn us. The ancient people battled the same demons that are attacking us now. The demons came through the teleporters that they built, just to the Certainly knows this place. He's like, I am a side character, and I am not going in there. Or going out there. If he came with me, he could see firsthand what the Soul Cube does. So there is that. He backspawned me again? Oh no, he's trying to snipe me.
Uh -huh. How embarrassing. I'm surprised that works. You go down or go up? You go up, you go down. Expected something to crawl out of there. But he's not doing it, so we'll just leave it be. Shouldn't like we never heard anything. through a little bit there, aren't you, buddy? And this is why I say he's hallucinating. Because it just randomly decides what tiles to take over. See that? Backspawners. any zombies in a good while. I'm thinking we might have killed them all. Would not surprise me if we did. 
Or if, like, that's how the game's justifying it. Well, all I hear was is there. Except for that swan, fella. And Pierce. Essence of each individual. Who's just working away? Am I going the right way? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Stuff keeps spawning though, so... I'm doing something right, right? this looking this terrible. That guy's PD8 open like four doors, so there's gotta be some doors here somewhere. Right? hatch before proceeding. What hatch? What are you talking about? Oh. Alright, whatever. Woohoo! Wanna walk in whopping 20 feet. Best ride ever. Nice to see you still care, Patrugger. <coughs> I 
I'm really glad nothing uh, back spawned me there. Because that would have been terrible.